Hey friends, happy Wednesday. Daniela here and welcome to another episode of the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. I want to talk to you today about Black Friday. Uh, at the time of recording this, it is September. Uh, what is it? September 7th. We are getting very, very close to Black Friday and October, November, December, January, February, March. Those are the money-making months in the year for spa. Q4 and Q1 is typically where the bulk of money is made. We're moving into peel season. We are moving into laser season, all the good things. So I want you to be prepared now, plan and prepare now so that you're not scrambling to put something together the week before Thanksgiving, right? Like we are really, really moving into that time period. So I wanted to talk with you today a little bit about our buy 100, give 100 promotion, also about the retail reversal and really some best practices to make sure that you are setting yourself up for success. Remember the bigger the runway, the bigger the launch, the more time that you have to prepare and market and promote these types of events, the bigger the cash flow you will see coming into your business, okay? So let me go ahead and start with the buy 100, give 100. Uh, we used to call it the buy 100, get 100, but I love the name change. I think that was from Mish on our team um, who actually switched that up. And it's because this promo is a wonderful promo if you're looking to get new clients in the door. So we've already done a podcast episode about this. I'll have my team link it up um, below this video. So you can go back and listen to all of the details on the buy 100, give 100. But in a nutshell, essentially that promotion is buy a $100 gift card, get five $20 vouchers or four $25 vouchers, however you wanna break it up, um, that you can gift to your friends and family. Now, one of the biggest red flags with this promotion that I hear from spa owners are saying, well, my clients just want to use it for themselves. Um, we highly, highly recommend that in the way that you're actually marketing this, you're saying, all right, you buy your gift card. You can do your gift card however you want it. Use it for whatever you want. That's for you then we're going to give you these four $25 gift cards or vouchers, excuse me. We want to make sure that we're using the proper language because there are laws that are established around gift cards in particular. These are essentially like a coupon, right? But it's all in the presentation. So we're giving them one of the plastic um, vouchers. We're going to have them, you know, beautifully designed, printed. I love having them actually in a gift card box, like a little jewelry block box with a bow on top of it. So all of our marketing is talking about, you know, do this for yourself and have gifts for um, your teachers, for nurses, for your doctor's office, for um, other kids, parents at the school, you know, like different, all these people that we're wanting to get gifts for we're making it as easy as possible for our um, our clients to just have that already done for them. And how great would it be to have, you know, two or three of those $25 vouchers in your purse so that if you accidentally forget a gift for somebody or something like that, you're covered, right? So we're really positioning the, mar the marketing in that way that it makes it as easy as possible to be able to um, to pass those gifts along. Now, when you are doing this on social media, you want to make sure that you're, you know, really clear on what the offer is, um, showing, you know, we had a client, I was actually just looking at our Instagram this morning who did the buy 100, get 100 last year over Thanksgiving, did it very successfully. And she was able, she had, you know, the hundred dollar gift card on the first image on the second image on Instagram, it was the four $25 gift cards. And then on the third image, it was the actual gift cards in the prepackaged boxes. And I thought this was such a beautiful way to represent this promotion. It's very visual. It did have text on the bottom explaining, you know, get a gift card for yourself, get the four $25 gift cards to, or gift vouchers to give to others, to friends and family, and then showing it already presented and wrapped up in the box. 
Um, so that was an incredible, incredible promotion for her. Now, some keys to success on this one, these ones, besides the, um, you know, the presentation, you want to make sure that those vouchers on the back say not good towards uh, no cash value, um, good towards services only, uh, one per limit, one per transaction, uh, can't be combined with other offers and also have an expiration date. And depending on how quickly, um, you know, how many you sell, you may have an expiration date of 60 days. You may have an expiration date of 90 days, however you want to, you want to put it. But if you go through and let's say you just knock it out of the park with this promotion. Um, we had a spa a couple years ago, did this, did like $10,000 in buy 100, get 100. I think it was their first year in business. So it was really incredible. Um, and so if you get like a big rush like that and you have that expiration date that you can't fulfill, one of the things that you can do is make sure that you're reaching out to all of those people and saying, Hey, yeah, we, um, you know, whoever you have the contact information for, but the gift card is expiring or the gift voucher is expiring. However, if you want to purchase your service now, if you want to pay for it now and then book it in the future, we can absolutely honor that for you, right? So really be thinking big picture and how you can promote this in the biggest way possible, okay? Um, another key to success with buy 100, get 100, that same spa that did around 10,000, they started promoting their buy 100, get 100 in October. So every single client that was coming in, they were saying, hey, we're doing this really incredible Black Friday promo. I know it's just gonna be nuts around the holidays. You're probably gonna have so much going on with family and you know all just kind of the fun and excitement of Black Friday shopping anyways. We wanted to let you know about our promotion now. If you want us to write out a bill, we can you know, get everything documented in our system and we'll ring you up on Black Friday. So it's already taken care of. You're making it so much easier for that client, right? And that is something that we want to make sure that we're doing is making the lives of our clients significantly easier. Okay. So now I want to move on to the retail reversal. And this is really, if you guys have ever read the book, Blue Ocean, or Blue Ocean Strategies, it's a really interesting book talking about um, how you can stand out in a crowd. And, you know, my team tells me that I have Daniela-isms or like little sayings that I say. And one of them is nobody cares about 10%, right? So 10% is not going to get you out the door. If if you're hosting an event and you're like 10% off everything, that is not going to get me out of my jammies <laughs> after a long day of work. You know, I want to sit on the couch, have my glass of wine, relax. And so you've really got to have a promo that is exciting and captures the attention and is different than what everybody else is doing, right? So the retail reversal is essentially spend $200 on retail, get a chemical peel for free. So see how that is like swapped. So what we're looking at is getting them to purchase a set dollar amount of retail, 200, 250, 300, whatever that dollar amount is for you. And then gifting them a complimentary service um, of equal or lesser value. So, you know, the spas that I've worked at, chemical peels are usually between 175 to 225 um, per peel. What I also love about chemical peels is they have a high perceived value, low cost of service. So that is really important um, because we don't want to be shelling out a lot. But if we say that a, a peel, um, even if the peel costs you $15, if you think about if someone is spending $250, you know, what is, what would be that $15 off? It's going to be minimal, right? It's going to be a minimal discount that you're actually giving. Um, hey, Tyreen. Oh, good. I'm glad you love that idea. Um, and did I see that you're a manifesting generator as well? I think you posted that. 
Um, me too. <laughs> okay. So with the retail reversal, again, we're trying to capture the attention and we, what we're doing is coming up with a service that has a high perceived value, low cost of service bonus points. If it's a service that needs to be received in series. Okay. So a chemical peels do best when you receive a series of three to six treatments, right? So you're getting them in for that complementary chemical peel, but then you have the opportunity to say, you know, this, this would be really great for your skin. I'm of the belief that chemical peels are good for just about everybody, right? There's a few exceptions there, but just about everybody would benefit um, from a chemical peel or a series of chemical peels, as long as it's the right um, time of year, all of that kind of stuff right? So um, using that promotion to capture the attention, especially if you have a lot of retail on your shelves. The other thing is we really want our people, our clients, our patients, our guests to be using the retail that we are selling. There can be hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue that comes in. Plus, you know that your clients will get better results if they're using high quality professional grade skincare rather than what they're getting at Target, right? And and that's the thing that, you know, from the start of my career, I was always so focused on retail and really like that's what I focused my programs and my trainings and my teachings all around is because I believed so deeply that the patient has to have some ownership in what they're doing at home. And they can come to us and get these services and get these treatments. But if they're not using high quality skincare, they're not going to be happy with the results. They're not going to get, they're not going to get the same results. Um, and ultimately that's going to affect your business. So it's so vitally important that we are helping, supporting, guiding our patients from A to Z, right? From how they're prepping for their treatments to what they're actually receiving, to their maintenance, to their home care, all of it is very, very important. Okay, so both promos, I want you to, if you decide to do either one of those, really take a look um, at what it is that you're going to offer. And if you have some other ones that you think are great, go ahead, comment below, let me know what they are. These are the two that traditionally we have seen work incredibly well over Black Friday, over that time, all right? So this is gonna be a short but sweet episode. I want you guys to be taking action, okay? So look at what you're gonna do, map it out, make a list of the action items that need to be taken ahead of time so you are not scrambling when Black Friday comes around. So now you can actually start preparing, start selling, start marketing these promos and knock it out of the park, okay? Now, I did post in the comments here, um, we, are, we are getting really good at helping our Growth Factor members just have phenomenal, phenomenal events. We just had another gal. Um, we've had two gals do $90,000 events now. Um, we had another gal do a $45,000 event. Uh, they're just really doing so, so well. So if you are interested in learning more about what it is that we do inside of Growth Factor, how we are helping our clients make more money through promotions, through events, through membership, all of these different things. That's just one teeny tiny facet of our program. We're actually teaching spa owners how to get more time freedom and financial freedom through running a systems-based business. Um, but our big shiny headline that we're having so many individuals have such great success with is events right now. And events are just huge. I think they're gonna continue to be huge through 2023 because so much of it is about community. So much of it is about connection and really building deeper relationships. And that's where the success is coming in. So if you're interested in learning more about Growth Factor, about what we do here at Addo Aesthetics, I want you to just comment DM below and we will reach out to you. Um, Oriana on our team will send you a message but we would love to learn more about your business and learn how we can support you and get you amazing, amazing results. All right, my dears, thank you so, so much. Enjoy this episode. 
Start taking some action and let's knock it out of the park in Q4.